Ubuntu 26.04 LTS, what next for Linux's giant? Ubuntu 26.04 LTS, Resolute Raccoon, is on the horizon, and with it comes a decision point for millions of desktop and server users. Is this the release that will push Ubuntu forward as the default choice for new Linux users, developers, and enterprises? Or will it be another steady, conservative LTS? Today we'll break down what's likely coming, what the community cares about, and what Ubuntu needs to get right. The schedule and context. Ubuntu's next LTS is scheduled for April 23, 2026, with the usual beta and release candidate milestones leading up to the final release. As an LTS, it will be supported long-term, the sort of release organizations prefer for stability and security. That schedule sets the pace for features. Anything that isn't rock solid by the freeze dates simply won't make it. A brief look back, the reception to 2404 showed that users value polish, hardware enablement, and an approachable desktop. At the same time, packaging and distribution methods, like snaps, remain a heated topic inside the community. Expect those conversations to shape 2604's priorities. Desktop evolution. GNOME, Wayland, and the user experience. A major desktop change to watch is GNOME. Reports indicate Ubuntu 2604 is tracking a very modern GNOME release, GNOME 50 or thereabouts, which brings UI refinements, performance work, and continued Wayland momentum. That matters because GNOME changes ripple into default sessions, visuals, and input handling. And some of the biggest user-facing differences in a new Ubuntu come from the desktop stack. Because GNOME and many upstream projects are moving toward Wayland, Ubuntu 2604 could further reduce X11 legacy support. That's good for security and modern graphics stacks, but it raises compatibility questions for older applications, niche drivers, and certain pro workflows. Expect Canonical to bake in migration paths and recovery options, but also expect some users to need extra help moving to Wayland. Also watch default apps and pre-installed tooling. Canonical has been experimenting with what ships out of the box versus what's optional. Small changes here can affect first impressions for new users and the bloat versus convenience debate for experienced ones. Under the hood, kernels, performance, and packaging. On the kernel front, Ubuntu keeps fairly current with upstream Linux kernel releases for non-LTS builds and selectively backports where needed for LTS. Community reporting suggests work on modern kernels for recent Ubuntu development cycles, which translates to better support for new CPUs, GPUs, and power management improvements when 2604 ships. That's essential for laptop battery life and new silicone support. Packaging and distribution remain one of the thorniest topics. Canonical's snap format is mature and integrated, and there's ongoing internal and public discussion about how snaps and traditional dev packages should coexist going forward. The community wants the convenience and sandboxing snaps offer, but also performance parity, better driver handling in snaps, and clearer developer and user workflows. Expect incremental improvements to snap tooling and policies in 2604, rather than a wholesale switch. Security and privacy will get attention. More encrypted by default options, TPM and firmware integration for secure boot and disk encryption, and stronger defaults for sandboxing so LTS users get hardened, reliable systems out of the box. Beyond the desktop, Cloud, IoT, and enterprise needs. Ubuntu's strength is more than its desktop. Canonical has built a huge presence in the cloud, containers, and IoT. Ubuntu Core and Snap-based immutable images continue to target embedded and edge devices, while Ubuntu Server and Cloud images focus on reliability, live kernel patching, and integration with industry clouds. 2604 is likely to include server-side improvements aimed at easier lifecycle management and better cloud image support for new hardware. For enterprises, the story is about support length, security updates, and tools for fleet management. Expect Canonical to highlight enterprise-grade features, 
and to promote Ubuntu Pro extended support options as part of the 2604 messaging. Hopes, fears, and what would make 2604 a milestone. Hopes. Polished Wayland First desktop with GNOME improvements, up-to-date kernel support for recent hardware, faster and less surprising snap experiences, and strong server slash cloud features that make upgrades frictionless for enterprises. Also, clear migration tools for users coming from older LTS releases. Fears. Fragmentation between packaging approaches, slow or fragile snaps for certain hardware, graphics, Steam, specialized drivers, and a desktop that moves too fast for admins still relying on legacy X11 workflows. The balance for Canonical is real. Innovate where it matters without breaking the ecosystem that relies on LTS stability. Final verdict. Ubuntu 26.04 LTS has the potential to be one of the most consequential releases in recent memory. Not because it will necessarily reinvent Linux, but because it can set the tone for how accessibility, packaging, and enterprise-grade support evolve across the ecosystem for years. If Canonical executes with careful polish, clear migration pads, and pragmatic packaging improvements, 26.04 could both solidify Ubuntu's dominance and push the desktop forward. If it stumbles on developer workflows or packaging trust, the community may accelerate alternatives. Either way, it's a release worth watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments, which change are you most excited or worried about for Ubuntu 26.04?